Hey guys, Zach Yudak here. Welcome to my second episode of Tech News. First up, Apple is planning to launch a search engine that could rival Google. Do you know how much it costs for Google to be the default search engine on Apple devices? $15 billion a year. And this could all change with the addition of this new search engine. So maybe very soon we will be Appling instead of Googling. The next news is about nature and not how we kill it, but how we want to save it and preserve it with tech. Scientists are hoping to save the Great Barrier Reef. It is under great threat right now because of climate change and coral bleaching. It is very important to save it because it houses a variety of marine life and it has a very unique ecosystem. So what are they doing? First, they are cryogenically freezing the coral, taking it out of its environment, and then after some time, putting it back in. I really hope this works out because I remember diving and seeing coral reefs was so beautiful. Next up, Google is testing a search in video feature. Basically, let's say if you want to watch a long video about programming, but you only want to watch the part about collision detection, you can search up collision detection and Google will find the part of the video where collision detection is. So probably very soon, you won't have to watch on my channel all this, hi guys, Zach Uwak, bye guys, Zach Uwak, and you can just check the part that you really need. Next, this week, an AI company called OpenAI has open sourced a project called Point E. It's like the AI DALI for generating images, but Point E generates 3D models. You just have to write a text prompt, for example, an old laptop, and Point E will generate a 3D model for you. By the way, every thumbnail for my news videos was actually generated by an AI. The only thing I added was the text. Next up, Starlink has announced that it has reached 1 million users. What is Starlink? It's an internet service provider founded by Elon Musk. But the twist is, Starlink's coverage is provided from space. You can have internet everywhere now, in the desert, in Antarctica, in the ocean, even space. And that's a good thing, because I was planning to travel to Mars, but I was thinking, how would I be able to post YouTube videos from Mars? Now it's good. You won't miss it.